So we're going to install this Frankenstein method. So what that means is peeling the whole pattern. I lift it from the corner so I can pick it up in the center here. Then I pick it up as much as I can off the window before it wants to release. And then I'm going to pull it with my left hand. And then I catch it. I catch it in the air. I let it drape. And then basically bobble it so it's like this. And then we're going to walk in the car here without touching any panels. So putting the front seats forward and everything. You can do the limbo here. And then I open my hands back up. Hold it as nice and flat as I can. So then I want to set my pattern as far down on the glass as I can. And it's okay if you're higher up if you don't get this far down. But you want to center it. And as soon as you touch that film to the bottom, you can start putting some more film up on the glass. Put some film up on the glass, and now you've created a little bit more structure. So when you push your film down, you can put a little bit more up on the glass. And just always avoid the headliner on the inside of the car. So push it down, push it down. I'm going to squeegee the top half of this. So this is the easy part to get to. I'm using my hybrid squeegee. And I just start in the middle, work my way out. And then I'm going to leave this bottom bit for a second so I can explain what we're going to do. So I squeegee most of the back window out with this squeegee right here. This is a fusion hybrid blade, uh, whatever your handled squeegee of choice is. You can get most of a back window out just with this. But this part of the window, really like the last stretch here, is where you need at least one of these tools right here. So we have a side swipe, we have a bulldozer, and then we also have this funny looking green tail fin. So I'll explain this one um, a little bit later, but these two are what I'm gonna be using on most of the windows right here. So I'm gonna jump back in. I'm going to squeegee most of the bubbles out to the bottom up until the point that I can reach. And as soon as I get to the bottom here, that's where the deck leg gets in the way and I can't reach on this car in particular. Now you'll have cars with their brake lights in the way, other obstacles. This one gives me a fair amount of space. So I can actually take this guy right here, the side swipe, and I can go across the entire bottom edge on this. I'll either start in the center and go one way, and you just put a lot of pressure up against the glass, get that blade to form to the back window, and you can swipe it all out. You're getting this blade to conform to the glass, so when you put pressure on it, you can see that bend, and then you're just gonna swipe it right along the inside of the window. So when I'm squeegeeing out at the bottom, I put my hand on this handle as close as I can, like try and thin it out a little bit so I can get pretty far down here. If you need a bigger handle, check these ones out. This is called the Stroke Doctor. So either one, side swipe, well bam, Stroke Doctor, little extra, little extra handle right here, and then you can swipe all that out. We gotta peel it off, and we're gonna go again. So we're gonna peel this. Again, we'll spray it down, and you can grab it from the center. Then you're gonna lift it up, and I'm gonna pull with my left hand. So I'll pull it with my left hand, and then kind of catch it. And then when you get to this point, you just let it drop. You can also use your mouth. You don't have to peel it directly off the back glass. You can put this on a glass board if you have it. You just need to get it on your hands in this position right here, and then we're gonna, we're gonna carry this back in like this, put your knee on the seat, one foot far forward, and then you can usually wiggle enough. And then if the film is falling down your hands, 
pull it back up with your teeth. Get those fingertips really close to the ends on that. That'll help you clear the headrest, widen your pattern out, and then put it on the glass. And then when I get some clearance, put more up on the glass. Push it down the window. To the bottom. Get the rest of it up on the glass. When you're squeegeeing out the window, you'll notice there's a lot of little ripples here. So I like to pick a flat spot in the center. Start in the center and kind of just work your way out from there. And imagine you're like sweeping or mopping the floor and you're getting all that water to go out together. Squeegeeing this down to the bottom. Back over this way, I squeegee the water as far down as I can till that handle starts bumping into my deck. Now we're gonna go over to the bulldozer. So you can squeegee out the entire back window with the bulldozer as well. It's just a little bit bigger and more awkward to do. So if I put this brake light back in, it's a little tall for this, but I can squeegee behind a third brake light mostly. Not one this tall, but you get the idea. If this was a little shorter, that fits behind a brake light pretty well. A few ways you can do this. One, you can just push directly down. I don't like to do that, but you can push directly down. But whatever you do, if you just slam this into below the deck, don't just rip the tool back out. It acts like a hook. So what you wanna do is just let go, and then it'll just come out nice and gently. So you press down, let go, and then it'll kind of spring up towards the glass, and then it'll release very easy rather than trying to hook. If you put a little pressure at the bottom, it forms to the glass really nicely, and you can just push at an angle and squeegee all this water out. And then as you get close to that end, you start tilting it up. And then we'll go back over. Just like that, pushing it right against the glass. And then when you get close, pull it back out. And then if you need to, go back in a corner or something. But what you'll notice is this isn't the ideal corner squeegee. For corners and stuff, that's where the tail fin is gonna come in. So I'm gonna pull this again and then show you guys on the third pattern. Now this funny looking green thing is the tail fin and this is really soft and flexible. So instead of just looking at it like this and wanting to push it down straight, I like to do it at an angle and I mainly use this for really tight corners. So I'm not gonna use this in this type of situation. I'll kind of explain why. Push my film down and get it over to the corner and then I'll take the tail fin, shove it in that corner as far down as I can, get it to bend off that deck, and then you'll be able to get out the vast majority of whatever's there. If there's anything a little higher, that's why we have the other reach tools as well. And you can swipe this, push it far down past the deck, and then boom, there you go. So there's gonna be certain cars with deck lids and windshields that really pinch in the corners. Uh, VW Jettas are notorious for that. The Camaro has like a real tight deck lid. Um, and there's some other ones that when you get to the corners, this side sweep has a little thickness to it. The bulldozer definitely has a thickness to it. So they're ideal for the majority of it and getting behind brake lights. But then when it comes to the corners, sometimes you just need this thing. So. I'm a huge fan of bringing all three into every back window or windshield situation. I don't always need it, but when you need it, you're really gonna be glad that you have it. So these are my favorite back window tools. If you have any other preferred ones, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Leave them in the comments down below and maybe we'll take a look at them in comparison to what I use. And thank you so much for watching.